We want to take the derivative of this. So when you want to take a derivative, whenever you have roots, you want to change them to fractional powers. That's the first step. So that would be to the one third, and this one would be to the one fifth. Remember, the roots are always at the bottom of the fraction. Now, this is a lot easier to derive. You basically, unless you're really good, you can't really kind of see that and derive it. So what we do is we just now derive it. So you take the one third, put it out front, subtract one from one third, and you get negative two thirds. Plus, take the one fifth, put it out front, subtract one from one fifth, and you have negative four fifths. So next, let's get rid of the negative powers. So it looks like we're going to have 1 over 3. And since that's a negative power, it's going to drop to the bottom. And then plus 1 over 5. And this is going to be x to the 4 fifths. I'm actually going to leave it like that. You could try to get the common denominator. Do you understand you're going to have to multiply? Again. It's going to have 15. And then what does four fifths and two thirds go in? It's going to get a little bit more complicated, but we're going to leave it like that for now. That would take a bit to kind of simplify. You could also change this back to roots if you want on the bottom. Number 47, 54. The equation of a tangent line. To get the equation of a tangent line, you need m, x, and y. You have x and y. We just need m at this point. So to find m, or the slope, at this point, you need to find the derivative first. That's a pretty easy derivative. Looks like 3x squared plus 1. So that is the first step. Why is the derivative useful? Well, the derivative gives you slopes. And where do we want the slope? We want it here at x. So I'm going to find the slope is going to be 3, and it's negative 1 is what we're going to plug in. That ends up giving you 3 plus 1 is 4. So the slope is 4. The coordinate is negative 1, negative 2. Again, there are multiple ways of doing this. I'm going to do the less common one, the one that you use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Actually, that's y2 minus y1, but I kind of don't want to put the 2. You'll see y in a second. This is slope formula again, rewritten. Okay. So leave y. y1 is negative 2. m is 4, and x is negative 1. So my answer is y plus 2 equals 4 times x plus 1. That is the equation of the tangent line at this coordinate, and we got the slope by deriving it and plugging in the negative 1. By the way, could you also find it in this form? Yes, you just got to find B. What you would do on a multiple choice test is look to see which form it's in and then go that route. You want to always look at the answer so you know where you're starting. Okay. 60, we don't just want the equation of the tangent line. We want to find where it has a horizontal tangent line. Where in this graph does it have a horizontal tangent line? Now, if you know your math, you know this is a parabola, and you probably know where it's at, if you think about it. Now, it's at the vertex. The horizontal tangent line, do you understand, is at the vertex. Horizontal means this way. Horizontal means a slope of 0, correct? Horizontal tangent line means slope of 0. So basically, I'm just trying to find out where the derivative, I'm trying to find out where is the derivative equal to 0. 
That's my question. So basically, all we do is take the derivative. This is an easy one. 2x. Okay. And that, now I need to find the, don't need to know where this equals zero. Doesn't my, do I want to know where my derivative equals zero? So can I plug zero in for derivative? And what do you get for x? When you solve this, divide both sides by two, you get x equals zero. Now, that's where your graph has a horizontal tangent line. Now, find the horizontal tangent line. It's at x equals zero. Now, if I want the equation, I can't remember what the equation's asking, so let's go a little bit farther. But what this, so far we know is, when x equals zero, it has a horizontal tangent line. Is that okay? Now, if I actually want to find the equation of that horizontal tangent line, first of all, do you understand the slope is zero? So, we just need to find out how high that tangent line is. So, wouldn't we just plug this into the original equation? If we plug in the zero to the original equation, don't you get y equals one? So the coordinate is zero, one. That is where, for this graph, you'd have a horizontal tangent line. Basically, it's the vertex. All right? Now, what would be the equation of a horizontal tangent line? A horizontal tangent line is a graph that looks like that. So isn't that a y equals or an x equals? So this right here is the equation of the horizontal tangent line. y equals 1. Because if you went to this equation, isn't m 0? Isn't b just the y-intercept? You kind of you can plug everything in, you'll figure out b equals 1. Anyways, that is the horizontal tangent line. This is the x value where it has a horizontal tangent line. Horizontal tangent lines are going to be very important very soon. Very important. So keep that horizontal in mind.